As chemical engineers, we use theoretical and practical knowledge and skills to identify solutions to the world's most complex challenges, and thousands of female chemical engineers are currently working to solve problems with creativity and innovation, implementing practical applications of technologies and helping find solutions to worldwide issues to transform life for the better, shaping the world. More than ever, female engineers have a key role to play in medicine development and manufacturing, introducing innovative technologies, optimizing processes capable of consistently manufacturing high quality medicines for patients in need. I believe that female chemical engineers shape the world by exerting influence in education, engineering, technology and research. The work that we do will help society to access cleaner air, cleaner energy, clean water, sustainable food production, health and well-being. I help shape the future by providing businesses and governments with the insights they need to address the challenge of climate change and map a path to a new climate resilient future. I'm yet to meet a female chemical engineer who is not passionate about encouraging more young women to be engineers. We volunteer at schools and colleges and we mentor to show people what it's really like to be an engineer. And by doing this, we encourage young women and girls to join the profession, bring in that much needed new talent and those fresh ideas. We are inspiring the next generation and that is how female chemical engineers are shaping the world. As a chemical engineer, I work on the gas national transmission system, fixing critical flaws on our network to ensure security of supply today and in the future for our homes, schools, businesses and hospitals, and to make sure we can all keep baking banana bread. During this pandemic, we have all become aware of how vitally important engineers are to the fight against the virus, not least the chemical engineers, who are going to have to produce the billions of doses we need of vaccine and of antibodies as they become available. In this context, we should remember the chemical engineer, Margaret Hutchinson Rousseau, who during the 1940s designed the process for producing penicillin on a large enough scale so that there were sufficient doses for the troops at the time of the Normandy landings in 1944. I'm a chemical engineer, a fellow of the Institute of Chemical Engineers, and I'm helping to shape the world by managing a department of 100 engineers making tiny sensors to help diabetics manage their blood sugar. Women chemical engineers inspire and lead teams that solve problems, leading advances in cleaner energy, reducing waste and finding ways to make our lives more sustainable. Women chemical engineers are making a difference, leading regulators, governments, industry, academic and research organisations. Female engineers are more critical than ever in the world right now. We are vital in the field of healthcare research, scale up and operation of manufacturing processes, bringing innovation and diversity of ideas to developing therapies, addressing the COVID-19 pandemic and seeking cures to transform people's lives. In the 30 years since I started as a young chemical engineer, things have changed enormously. Today we work in very diverse teams where women engineers bring their ingenuity, their diverse ways of thinking, and together we're solving the world's great problems. We need more female engineers. I'm hoping that being female makes me an approachable type of person. That means that we get a full range of voices from the institution members, irrespective of, of what their gender is, what their race is, what their cultural background is, where they live in the globe, or um, how they feel about the end solution of what chemical engineers should be doing. 
by having that full range of voices, we are always going to get a better final answer.